Good evening, Kitty. It's Dr. Freedom here with you. Time for some doctor news. News from in and around the universe that may or may not affect you on a deeply, deeply emotional level that could just make you go, mm, ah, that's nice. But okay, um, a lot of interesting stuff just popped up, you know, regarding the con circuit for this year. And I was really, really amazed to see these pop up. Oh, hang on. I'll just show you what I got here. It, it, oh, it's just amazing. Garrett's right. Check this out. Cappy, Michelle Gomez, and Jenna Coleman are coming to Dallas. That's right. They're going to be at Dallas Comic-Con. And from what I've seen of the prices, you know, so far on their page, you can click right here for ticket information. I'm going to give you a link to this tweet so you can go straight to it. Um, the con prices are not all that bad. Now, I haven't seen anything about – I haven't checked on the special tickets or anything like that yet. But, you know, first time these three have been together in North America in the same venue, apparently. But here's the other thing. Well, okay, that's right. Check it out. This is going to be the greatest thing. Just think, Cappy does Dallas. Cappy does Dallas. The greatest thing to do Dallas since Debbie, and we won't discuss that on this channel because if you remember how Debbie did Dallas, you are a very old, dirty pervert. But okay, moving on. Also, he's going to be there on Friday and Saturday, and then on Sunday he's going to be in D.C. here at Awesome Con. So, Matter of fact, they even make a note, he will only be appearing Sunday. That's because he's going to be at the Dallas one Friday and Saturday. So, you know, I'm just loving the fact that, you know, while the show's taking the time off, they're going to come over here and tour the U.S. because the U.S. is taking over the show. I'm not kidding. I keep hearing that. I, I'm still wondering why everybody thinks we're taking over the show. And look at how many Scottish actors are involved and Scottish writers. Ain't it obvious who's really taking over the show? Okay, but <laughs> all right, but really awesome stuff to hear that Capaldi is not only going to be here in Dallas, you know, with Jenna Coleman and you know Michelle Gomez, but he's also going to be in Washington D.C. on that same on that Sunday the fifth to be here, at, you know, there at Awesome Con. Um, also on the con thing, we got this one that popped up a couple a few days ago. Well, actually, yesterday. Sorry. That is Matt Smith and David Tennant are going to be at St. Louis Wizard World Comic Con. And the thing is, is this. I am really worried. When you read some of these ticket prices, this is ridiculous. You should not have to pay the same you would for a half-assed used car to go to a convention. It's gotten silly. And I, I'm, you know, I love the fact that these two are together. They're both brilliant actors. Both have brought a lot to the show. But come on, 600 bucks, And then from what I'm hearing, you don't even want to know how much it is for the photo op tickets. But, oh, man. Okay, speaking of Doctor Who and all that, and that's all we ever talk about, so why am I saying that? Harry Potter star wants to follow in his grandfather's footsteps to become Doctor. That's right, grandson of Patrick Troughton, who, by the way, people remember as Dudley, um, played by Harry Melling, now 26, wants to, you know, you know, if he had an opportunity, go, yeah, I would do that. I would definitely do Doctor Who. You know, I, I, I could see it. He's got the look. You know, I really think he could pull it off. Uh, so, you know, more power to him. You know, if he's up there on the docket, you know, and they pick him, yay, yay, yay. You know, I can see it. Okay. Now, remember that big deal about Doctor Who leaving Netflix all of a sudden and only appearing in the UK? Now we know why. Because look at this. Doctor Who streaming on Amazon Prime beginning in March. So basically, all you Whovians out there who are on Netflix, guess what? You want to watch Doctor Who online on you know, legally? Huh. We only watch it legally. That's right. Um, you're going to have to go over and get Amazon Prime. And again, you know, they've got a lot of stuff on there. Plus, I think it's only so many bucks a month. So, but you know, if you're into that, check into it. This article, boom, right here outlines that. Moving on uh, now. If it wasn't for girly letters over on Twitter, I wouldn't have given this article a second look because the headline is the next Tank Girl comic is actually called Two Girls, One Tank and Other Titan Solicits for May 2016. But if you click on this article, oh, looky right here. Some previews of the upcoming Doctor Who comic book covers are right here on this article. And if you're into any other comics and whatnot, check these out. I really love that one. It's cool. And, oh, like, all oh, cool stuff. And if you go, oh, like school of death. All right. And I guess it goes into some of the others and whatnot. If you're into that thing, like I said, I'm not a hardcore comic book guy, but I know a lot of the Whovians out there are now. So if you want to go check this out, big get up and give up boom. Here it is. All right. Joy and Wade wants to, you know, to be a doctor companion. Never say never. I guess what I am. I'm calling bullshit on this right off the bat. 
because even though you know Riggsy was an entertaining character, I think they're going to go with a totally new clean slate. You know, it would be nice to see if he did land it, but at the same time, if you're going to bring back somebody who was in a couple in an episode, bring back Journey Blue for crying out loud. Okay, Crave TV, by the way, has announced it's going to stream Doctor Who in Canada. Bell Media and BBC Worldwide North America have announced new licensing agreement for Doctor Who in Canada, which will see the streaming service Crave TV become the exclusive streaming service for that show in that country. So the agreement will see Series 9 being made available this summer with the previous eight moving to the platform by the end of this year. Series 10 onwards will be made available after their full season broadcasts on space. So if you want to read more about that, here it is. And once again, you see how they're taking over online? Ha, 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 ha. Okay, big finish, regular range during this year. Um, you know, what do you call it? Uh, Waters of Amsterdam is already out. Uh, so here's some of the other stuff that's coming out. And I remember if I had a lot of this coming out very, very shortly. Um, so if you want, you know, if you're interested in finding out what big finish is coming out in the regular monthly range, boom, 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 here it is. And lastly, on a sad note, we lost actor John Rollison. Uh, he died at the age of 84. Um, he's best known in Doctor Who playing Harold Chorley, the television journalist who covered the attacks on the London Underground in the 1968 story, The Web of Fear. Um, he also, in 55, got his first role on television, appearing in Children of the New Forest. And it just goes to his whole range right here. And it's sad to hear, but still 84 damn good innings. You know, I hope I make it at least that far myself. Okay. So for what I'm hearing class was supposed to have an announcement at the one uh, thing going on today. I'm sorry. My brain's like halfway not there. And I'm hoping to hear back on that soon. Um, the thing is I'm, I'm having an eerie feeling they're going to finally give us some casting announcements because for what we hear, and I heard it was supposed to have started filming a couple of weeks ago, but now the word is March. And if they're going to do an announcement, either was it sometime today or probably tomorrow, then it's probably casting because if they're going to start shooting, they're going to want to get a hold of the you know, head of the press and get the faces, you know, out on their publications before everyone else does from the set reporters. Oh, well, guys, that's all I had for you today. It's really nice that we finally got some Doctor News. Really exciting that Cappy is going to be back, you know, in the U.S., um, especially you're going to have the big three you know, of that last series, you know, Capaldi, Coleman, and, you know, Michelle Gomez all together in Dallas. I really am jealous of you sorry bastards down there in Texas. I really am because I would love to go see those three together. Oh, well, that's it. I'm out of here, so take care. Ta-ta. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a good one. Good night, folks.